Alright guys, we're gonna go over how to use the Dialog Manager system in a few minutes. This plugin is by Nathan Hude and I implemented it in my 3D game, East Space Manager. So, let's go with it. So first I could talk here. So this is just talking to a sign. I talk to a character. I call him Naked Guy. And he's just saying stuff. And then I call a function for him to jump. And then a freeze here, continue talking, jump again. Then with this guy, you could talk to him and do options. Say, oh, can I have five wood? He give you five wood, and now you're all set. You have 14 wood now. And so that does a check if in your, maybe in your globals, you check uh, if you, how much, what items you want to increase or decrease or check for and stuff like that. And then I could also have a, a like system where if I keep giving him wood, I know that sounds weird. <laughs> if I keep giving him, <laughs> he, he, uh, he's going to eventually have a new option to say you're a good friend. So I'll give him twice. And then there you go, you're a good friend. I could say five wood. And now you have all the options here again. So you're a good friend. So the response is just so funny. I use your intentionally here, and then the, the, you mean your the e at the end. And yeah, that's very much. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna assume you guys have Dialog Manager installed already. If not, you could go to Asset Lab. You could search for Dialog Manager. Oops. Dialog Manager. By Nathan Hude. So this version I have it installed already. So as of version 2.5, you can update it within the editor. So I already have it at the latest version. And make sure you go to um the project settings, plugins, and enable it. And now you should have this window here. So if you open this window up, you can see I'm on version 2.53. So this would be for you when you download it, it will be asking you to update to 5.3. So in order to make a new dialog, you can go here. You could say, I'll put it here. Let's, I'll just call this one tutorial. And okay. And you normally get these here, but I'm gonna go over each one by one. So in dialog manager, each dialog has a title and you can have multiple so you could call this one start using that tilde and then it could say something like you first put the person's name so for example my name is Siobhan so I'll say Siobhan and I'll say hi Oops. hi this is a tutorial so what this does is create the character Siobhan make sure you have a space after this colon and then you say hi this is a tutorial and this is the text that this character is speaking. And we can hit this key right here to test the dialogue out. Now you see Siobhan, hi, this is a tutorial. And then that closes it. So if you want to add options, you could go here, add a dash. And then maybe let's ask it something. Else. Let's say Siobhan, what's your favorite color? And then you pass in, let's say red, blue, and maybe green. For each one, you'd say add a response to that. So you say Siobhan, favorite color too, which it is actually. Oh, favorite color too. Put a space right here. And then you could maybe add other options. Okay, I always remember to put the character if you need a character there. And then you could call end right here. So that would end the whole dialogue. And this also ends it as well. If there's nothing here, it usually just ends on its own. So we could run that now. So what's your favorite color? Let's say green. Really? And then it ends the dialogue because it skips skips the rest of these options and go to this one. Or you could continue speaking maybe if you want. Everyone. And then run it again. Uh, say red that's my favorite code too okay see and then it ends okay so in order to do jumping 
say for example you wanted to have another conversation start you create another title other option so this is a new title where you'd say they could say Siobhan okay so what other colors okay so I have other options and Siobhan says okay okay so what other options do you want so the way you jump to uh, this is you make another option here more maybe that slash and then go to other options now if you run here and then you said more they say okay so what other options then you say maybe purple interesting and close and then we could jump back here again if you wanted to after you finished so we could say that equals dash start you could the only way you would you be able to leave this now is if you select buy because this is going to be blocked and blocking it because it's going to restart every time you did you more purple interesting then it restarts again you have to say bye to get out all right so in order say you have a different dialogue that you want to launch so this is one dialogue so let's go here tutorial dialogue let's call this one too you want to jump to this one let's clear this code here and we could say maybe everyone let's call it let's say this at start again don't forget the title don't necessarily have to but if you want to jump to it you have to have it say Siobhan let's say this is a new dialogue now here you have to come here go down here could click on this and drag it in oops click on the new dialogue here drag it in here so it imports that as a tutorial dialogue too. So you treat this as a um as a title as well. So we could change that to maybe just tutorial dialogue too. So we could select that, and then you see the other dialogue. Let's put that. Get rid of this more here. Other dialogue and jump to that dialogue. They so give you the option here. Dialogue two to start. Now we can run this one. And then other dialogue. This is a new dialogue. And then it closes. So if you want to return from this dialogue, for example, to come back here, you add a backslash right here. And then you could say maybe go to other options or something like that. So let's say, or we could just put it right here. Everyone, and then jump. To start, All right, and run this. Then other dialogue. This is the new dialogue, and then it goes back to the main dialogue. And how this is a tutorial. Let's see, that would be useful. All right, okay, guys. So to use variables from your game, first you need to go into settings here. Make sure you have your globals. Um, Selected. You don't have to have this enabled. This allows you to just like don't have to type it out. For example, in my globals uh, script, let's see what I have in here. Globals I have an NPC signal here, but uh, I should check inventory. So here I have some uh, quick functions. I have wood here. So let's go with money. So I'm gonna call this option here. Get item count and pass in the money so let's go back to here and you could say Siobhan equals you have put in station do or we just get this get item count and say money you have money and that should just work see there you go you have 120 money sounds very good let's say dollars and to add to that you could say do on a line so do um i think i called it set item count go back to the inventory set item count and i pass the name and the amount that i want to set go back to dialog here so set item count uh money and plus maybe how much do i want 
Let's put 100 or 100. And then we could say Siobhan would say you now have maybe, and it should change. You have da da da, you now have 100. So this gets called on its own. So it skips to this one. All right. What else do we do? Keep in mind, you could also do something directly like do, I don't know, like whatever that thing is. Where is it? Globals. Oops, sorry. Inventory. So you could set this directly if you wanted to. So inventory money. So copy that. Let's go back to here. Let's go here like that. Money equal or increment by 100. So that should work the same. So let's run it again. Uh oh, this crash is gonna happen. See, you now have 130. They don't have to use functions, but I just like using functions. All right. Okay. So to do conditions, all you have to do is go on one of the options. Go here and say get um get item count let's use the money for example greater than 120 so it's currently 120 so let's say 130 so this option won't be visible so if if get item count money greater than 20 there you go so it won't show up so now if we change this value here we put it at one one now we have that diamond here. The diamond is the color. All right, guys. So if you want to emit a signal, you could do emit. Could pass in something. My signal, then pass a string. Say signal emitted. Emitted. So now we have to go into one of our options here. One of these. So I'm gonna do it in the globals. So globals could create a signal here. Signal and my signal. And we could just connect the same thing here. So function ready. Uh connect so my signal dot connect uh test. And we create that down here. Funk test. And we could just print out say print b do that and it could come back here now click red and look down here it's gonna print out signal emitted and then it closes all right and you have other features too like you could do a wait here so you could say do wait and put a couple seconds three seconds it's gonna delay after a select option here do it again and it waits and then it closes all right so i'm gonna end this tutorial here i'm gonna make a part two and create it in the custom dialog box here it's pretty quick so all right guys have a good one take care